So this is a uh, concave or biconcave lens representation of. This takes parallel light rays, the arrows show that they are parallel, and it uh, makes the light rays bend um, away uh, or outwards. It's called a, a diverging um, lens because the rays diverge as though they come from a point which would be your focal point. So the rays appear to come from a focal point when they um, travel parallel and then spread out. Um, we've got another um, another type of um, lens to a different colour. This is called a convex lens and this one takes parallel light rays and focuses them to a point. Um, so the arrows are showing the direction. Um, if I was to show them as parallel I'd probably uh, do something like this. Okay, so the focal point for a, a converging lens is on the same side as the rays um, are travelling towards, and that's on the far side. Um, so let's just recap really quickly from the two. We've got um, the diverging lens, and the diverging lens is our concave or technically a bi-concave because both sides, the left hand side and the right hand side is concave um, and we've got also our, um, our converging or our um, convex or again uh, technically a bi-convex lens. Now um, here's a very cool way to remember um, which is which and how the light rays move um, we're going to just go down and start up a, 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 another picture here, but I'm going to zoom in this time. This is your um, convex lens once again, and this goes back to the principles of refraction. If we consider a, a light ray coming in here, and um, we, we always consider with refraction when you're going from a higher, uh, from a lower to a higher density uh, optical density medium, so air is lower and glass, if this is a glass lens, is higher, it will bend towards the normal. So um, it's going to bend downwards this way. Okay, so at just at that point in the center there where it it, uh, it strikes the surface, it's going to bend towards the normal. So if we were to uh, try and show you the angles here. This angle here, theta, um, will be larger than this angle here, phi. Okay, so uh, theta is larger than phi. That's just another way of saying it bends towards the normal. The normal, remember, is uh, perpendicular to the surface. If you were to draw a um, a line that is at a tangent to the surface, um, which is yeah. Now what happens on the other side over here, where I've just drawn the second dot, um, we've also got a normal. And remember when you're going from a, uh, a high to a low density, instead of bending towards like it did from a low to a high, this time we're going from a high to a low, it bends away from the normal. And in this case it's going to continue to bend downwards. So um, if we were to draw some more angles on this, it's getting a bit untidy but you'll be able to see um, the first angle, that incident angle is in here, I'll colour it in so it's a bit clearer that angle, the red angle we'll call that X uh, and then this angle Y, this time Y is greater than X because it's continued to bend and now um, light ray going through the center will just go straight through the center because it hits directly along the normal and same again in this so it's going to pass straight through the center but the light ray down the bottom is going to be a mirror image uh, that's not a pun of this first ray so uh, that's going to bend towards the normal which is this way and then when it hits the surface again it's going to go away from the normal and it's going to continue to 
go towards the focus. So that's how you can work out no matter what shape it is. You look at the light ray that's striking it, and then you use your basic rules of refraction. Um, if it bends uh, going from a, a lower to a higher optical density medium, bends towards the normal. If it's going from a, a higher to a lower, the other way, bends away from the normal. And you can try this yourself with um, the with the original concave uh, uh, lens to see that it does exactly the same thing. Let's just do it really quickly. So the middle ray goes straight through the one at the top. It's going to bend. Remember, the normal goes this way, so it's going to bend um, towards the normal, which is upwards in this case. And then uh, at this surface again, we've got a normal this way, and it's going to bend away from the normal and continue spreading further. Okay, and then this one is going to obey that same. It's going to bend away from the normal and away from the normal again. And then we have our diverging as though it comes from um, this position, which would be our focus. So that's concave and convex lenses and how to know uh, which ones, uh, which rays will bend where.